I guess, should we start here or should we just hit new game and just go? Oh, right! I forgot. Bird dissection. <laughs> remember, mem it's it's memory lane. It's going down me Oh, What else is memory lane? Is that phone. That oh, that Nokia 5C71 <laughs> phone. That bird's not invincible, but this phone sure is. Ow. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Rainy Day Let's Play. Uh, this is my good friend Mike. You might remember him from The Professionalists. You might, uh, or you might not. This That's is your fine. first time being on camera. Yes. And I, so I'm really excited about that. Yep. No, I've, we've done the streams on camera, but first time Let's Play on camera. Uh, maybe that's not... No, that I, is true. That's true. I'm really, like, I'm really honored to have you here. Uh, five years ago, today... Well, it probably wasn't today, but five years ago... No, it was today. On it this day in history... this day, specifically. Uh, we started Let's Playing on YouTube. And our first Let's Play. Did you see the health bar like flash in for a second on the top left? I think I did. Which, which means up. I probably already failed a cutscene. <laughs> We've already <laughs> failed the Xbox 360. Uh, anyway, five years ago, we played Condemned Criminal Origins. And so, uh... Look at the face! <laughs> <laughs> Why well, you hit my window? <sighs> Every time you get a close up on his face, he just looks like he's got to poops. Yup. He still has that thing in his ear, and it's still not really connected to any- oh. <laughs> Peter, I'm scared. I haven't pooped in three days. <laughs> Look at the body. Uh, but yeah, yeah, this is a hell of a game. And if you've never seen Condemned Criminal Origins, uh, I think this is my favorite horror game. Because it's, a, it's like thoroughly campy. Uh, Monolith made this in 2005 it was one of the first xbox 360 exclusives and uh it was one of their first like big games mm -hmm. where it was like okay these guys are real players they've been they've been making games for like a decade before that but this was their like hit and then they made fear and then they made enter the or uh the matrix online mm -hmm. one was not good one was very good and then now they made like Shadows of Mordor. Yeah, which, which was, was their most recent. Which was freaking awesome. Yes. So good. But it all started with the campiest and best like psychological horror game in Death Criminal Origins. Which like a mouse. It is oh that's a big mouse. Why am I controls? I feel like I'm really You feel sluggish? Yeah, super sluggish. Just because you're an old man. Oh, now, oh, it's, oh, it's literally, that's what it is. When I get my heart starts racing, my reaction time slows. <laughs> oh, gosh, I, rem I forget how, how campy. But yeah, that, that seems to be like a theme for the Xbox consoles, right? Because I mean, mm -hmm. like, the one of the first games that came out for Xbox, like the original, was Deadly Prep, which was also really campy. <laughs> True. Oh, oh no. no. Police guy. You, <laughs> did I? Did we like hit him with the car? No, he hit the car with the light. So he. Oh, look, that's right. He look. smacked our car with his light. I'm trying to break the windshield because he he got scared a little bit. He's like, oh no, detective, detective, detective guy stuck in the car. He doesn't have his his favorite music is not on. There's not water in there. He's gonna overheat. We gotta get him out. <laughs> you mean you're saying Detective Thomas is like a dog? You was trapped in the car. Detective Dickinson thought so. <laughs> Look at that guy. He looks so confused. And now he's gone. Uh, I want to see if there's anything in here. I don't think there's anything. You get a good a good uh, feel for the aesthetic though by coming through and seeing all these empty office chairs and whatever that is. Oh, that's uh, that's normal. That's the internet port. They oh. internet real hard in here, and so they burnt it all out. <laughs> That we're investigating like an esports den. They hadn't eaten for three weeks. Agent Thomas. They started the eating Becca. the internets. Becca found the body on patrol. Oh, hey, Becker. Also, all these people. Oh yeah, there's the body right there. That naked, <laughs> naked baby, naked baby body. I would. I hope that's not the body. Uh, no, I imagine it's probably 
uh, that guy sitting at the table. Wow. Uh, but I do not. I do not remember a lot of this game. I remember the faceless mannequins. Now that I look at them. <laughs> Everything's, it's all coming back. It's all coming back to me now. Oh, this one wasn't even the body. Thomas. It was this one. Come on, Thomas. This is Lieutenant Rosa. I'm your Whoa. lab tech again on this one. Our wireless data transfer system enables you to investigate and collect evidence at the scene of the crime. Hey, but ooh, his eyes too. To for Took all the eyes off these results. babies and put them on the wall. All right, let's get to work. Oh, that's let's right. Everything works computer. out of your like Nokia cell phone, you which is. It's, it doesn't even have apps. The thing is so massive. No, there's no applications, but somehow it scans for DNA. They knew. Uh, use detection tool to find evidence. Oh no, here we go. We got my black light. Let's uh, aim the tool. Oh right. This was so revolutionary. I mean, it oh. kind of still is. Right. Got Take it. A picture. Just a sec. And then we. I like how that camera somehow has access to Wi-Fi. Also, I didn't take the picture from that angle. <laughs> That's not the picture at all. Don't worry, I already have a picture. This is just a training exercise for you. I just want to make sure you know what you're doing. We're looking for the nine-fingered man. We're looking for that one... It's the one finger that did this. Oh my god. They're having flashbacks. Is he eating a bee's nest? Oh, he's... Oh, this bee's nest is now a man's head. <laughs> right, we do like these flashbacks like it's Boondock Saints. Right. Like we're, uh, what's his name in the Saints. Ah, uh, Get the lights. The agent's laser works better in the dark. <laughs> and got me a freaking laser. Right. Okay, so what? we're looking for a bright gl green glow. There we go. Mm. Alright, let's collect it. All over that face. Oh man. Uh, aim the use tool. the right stick. I'm using up, the right. up, down. Uh, use a oh. left stick to focus. <laughs> there. Also, it gives us the blatant point where we need to focus it at. But Let's like, take a picture of this and see if they can understand what we're doing. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're just like, just do it, just do it, just, just don't even stop, stop working hard. Oh yeah, you definitely got some green stuff there, detective. Exactly. But uh, the others. it's all green. You zoomed in too much. What? I mean, was there ever any question that that was this what? guy? Did we need <laughs> to see the cut marks on the face to realize that? <laughs> huh. I, wonder... I think this is the matchmaker. I think this might be the the Diamond Dasher. At a crime scene. Where's Becker? I don't smoke. Well, someone was. Uh oh. Maybe, maybe it was. If it wasn't you. Oh no. And it wasn't me. And it wasn't you. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Then maybe it was the door! Door, no smoking in a crime scene. What kind of guy would just stick around smoking a cigarette while the police investigated his murder? <laughs> Smell the cigarette smoke. It was the matchmaker. Ah, uh, he makes- Make me a match. He actually just makes- <laughs> Not only does he pose his victims, he also just happens to make handmade matches. Smell of very nice scents. Oh, no! Okay, the- you're like jumping at the cutscene. Call for backup now. This is Officer We don't know if it's him. Look at this like. He looks like a wrestler, but like combined with one of the main characters from Heroes. <laughs> like the detective in Heroes looks exactly like Thomas. Mm -hmm. His eyes are. Okay. Now he's playing. That could have been a coincidence. Secure that door. Thomas, uh, the I like how their He's eyes are back. so animated, but their faces are just dead. Right. That was their. That was my favorite thing about this. Like, there's no passion in any of their eyes. They're just like, yeah, we're gonna die here. Like, the, their eyes are moving around. Like, I should be looking at things, but their All faces clear, say, right? I could be at a funeral for someone I've <laughs> never known. <laughs> He's just walking away. Like, let's go. All right, I got All clear, I guess. All right, I kicked that door down. Everything's good. <laughs> you really shouldn't be climbing anything. Oh, and for Christ's sake, be careful. He says, jumping out of a window. <laughs> hey, Scooby, let's let us let us not split the gang up. How about we all stay together? Oh wow, let's be careful. Pull out your gun. I don't know if they're on a new drug. Thomas Dickinson, there's one coming your way. Attic amped up. How did you know that? You're upstairs. All right, come on, buddy. He fell through the floor? Oh, 
Oh. There you go. There's two sides of every weapon. Oh, oh. Oh, where is he? Oh man, I'm not gonna- I forgot that the monsters like talk back at you too. Oh, oh come on! Come on, buddy! I'm not gonna shoot at you! I'm not gonna waste! I don't wanna sh- I don't wanna sh- I don't wanna break your sweet, sweet glasses, man! I suck at this! Come on! Is it all coming back now? Oh, I think I could use a finishing move on him. What's happening? <laughs> I stalked for the update! Oh no, I killed Bono! Oh no, this is Bono's drug den! This 2000s ass looking motherfucker, like, with the, like, leathery jacket. Well, Look at his shoes though, check out his shoes. Ooh. He's definitely wearing, uh... He's, he's got, like, work boots! He's, oh, no, those, those Baggy are... pants that go over his heel! He's definitely wearing some, this... <laughs> 2000 this, ass looking his, motherfucker! His straight leg boot cut jeans. Yep. Not even boot cut, his straight leg, uh, bell bottom jeans. With his car heart, not his car, it's one of Romeo's? Yeah! Like, Romeo's, definitely wearing his Romeo's. God, right. that's amazing how- he's All right. so, he is, This is the heart of the 2000s right here. <laughs> and now, five years later, we can finally, like, realize, like, yeah, that's our guy. We're gonna go with this Trigun. This stuff. is your average, everyday druggie. It just is what he looks like. <laughs> that's what, he's, this is what we look like. Full-blooded American druggies. Check ammo. Uh, no, I think I'm good. Don't have any ammo. Let's see. Uh, I've got one gun. That's a lot of ammo. Uh, we're gonna do this trigun style. Uh, my children gave me all these bullets for my birthday, so we're not gonna use them unless we have to. <laughs> You're gonna do a full melee run of condemned criminal origins. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not. You can't become the criminal. Ah. Uh, hear Aww. somebody murmuring. You can't be. Get out of here! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I flipped You got him all the way out of there. I flipped him like a pancake. <laughs> man, he was he Why was, did you hurt this man? He didn't even do anything. He just like help some guy jump me and cut up my face. <laughs> the best at zombies, because you're like, get out of here. That guy moves. Get out of here, criminal scum. I'm still alive, plamp. Not anymore. It's like that nuts in the scrubs. I'll get better. Doug, why did you hit me? I thought you were coming back to life. Then why would you hit me? Because dead people should stay dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly my mentality here. <laughs> dead people should stay dead. You're <laughs> walking around in the dark with the butt of a gun. You're not even using the ammo. <laughs> you obviously don't care about your own life. You're just a violent person. This is why I got into the New York beat. <laughs> Cause you, as long as you don't shoot anybody, nobody cares. If you beat him with your gun, it's all kosher. Holy shit! You're horrible. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, this is. A, I'm pretty. When was Bloomberg mayor in New York? <laughs> You're saying Thomas is doing this because he doesn't want to do paperwork. Yeah. As long as he doesn't discharge his weapon, he doesn't have to do paperwork. Hey, did you fire your gun? No, I, sir, I did not fire. All right. And, Good job. and it's all clean. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, you're about to be condemned for your now criminal origins. Oh. These oh. are some real criminal origins oh. happening. I think that door opening was supposed to be spooky and then I just missed it. Uh, I no. think you did that the first time too. Uh, that's, man, where am I? Somebody kicked a barrel somewhere. And I, I think just, you kicked a barrel. Did I? No. Somebody. There oh. they are. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah! Surprise! Oh god, I got in, I cut the BDSM call. Oh, is there one behind me too? No, no he's backslapping. He hit me in the backhand. He so. like you smack him and he turns around and like whacks you right. with the backhand. That was one of the most. That was That's one of the wicked. things. That was one of the things I remember. I really liked about this game was they were they didn't just take a hit and stumble. They came back at you. This is a pretty dynamic combat because you do have to hit and then run away. Wow. Otherwise, they will always hit you back.